figure shows a block diagram of an electrical energy supply system using the output of the power station. And as you see, this flow diagram shows a power station on the left producing 1000 volts to a step up transformer. The step up transformer increases the voltage to 30,000 volts. These 30,000 volts move in the transmission cables to a step down transformer. The step down transformers take the 30,000 volts and produces 220 volts. And this is what reaches the consumer. Question A A transmission cable of resistance R carries a current I. Write down a formula that gives the power loss in the cables in terms of R and I. Just the previous question mentioned that the power loss as heat in the cables is given by the rule P equals I square R, where I is the current intensity and R is the resistance. Question B. The step-up transformer has 10,000 turns on the primary coil. Using the values in figure, calculate the number of turns on its secondary coil. Assume that the transformer is 100% efficient. This is the step-up transformer he means. There is no other step-up transformers in the question. The step-up transformer takes an input of 1000 volts and its output is 30,000 volts. One of the main rules in studying transformers is the rule that governs the ratio of voltage in the input and the output to the number of turnings in the input and the output. This rule is NN divided by N out. N is the number of turnings. This equals VN divided by V out. V is the voltage. This means that 10,000, which is the number of turning on the input, the primary coil, divided the number of turnings of output that we need to calculate, equals 1,000, which is the voltage on the input, divided 30,000, which is the voltage on the output. This means that the number of turnings on the secondary coil will be 300,000 turns. The mark scheme gives one mark for the rule and the substitution, and the second mark for the final answer, 300,000 turns.